right camera action. And I'm not talking about film, I'm talking about the mystic law and Carolyn. Uh, when I just joined uh, some 30 odd years ago, Carolyn was really there for me. She had adopted Jamaica as her favorite other place to go, and I had adopted Ellie. So most naturally, we got together and we had this really fluid friendship. Uh, and the closeness was in, instantaneous. So naturally, I left the security of the studio system and went to work with Carolyn in her business, which was really interesting. We always won against insurmountable odds, and Carolyn took no gut from anyone. And the interesting thing is, before every film shoot, she, we would do volume. Even the crew, all the people who didn't even practice would do it together with us. I started thinking of her as Akira Kurosawa, who was so good at composing movement, sound, color, elements of rain, fire, smoke, all of it. It was so much like Carolyn, but she did everything from the point of your faith and taught me to do the same. Anyway, after a while, as Phil was saying, Karen went through a little bit of a difficult time, and I started really chanting to find her. I had to find Carolyn, and out of the blue, she called me and she said, Des, that's what she called me. Um, I am nominated for the Tupac Shakur documentary, and I need a gown. Would you make it? Wow. So I was so excited as I. Oh, sure, I was thinking of her Gohanza, you know. I'm going to go to her Gohanza and we'll chant together, and that's exactly what happened. So I always needed extra fitting so that we could chant even more. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I ran into Audrey, uh, and uh, she told me about Kansai Spirit District. So I said, Carolyn, come on, let's go to that district. And that's exactly where she went. I'm so proud of her and everything she's accomplished there. Anyway, uh, so, so anyway, we would have yearly birthday celebrations. And um, I hadn't heard from her this year. And every year we went to either Lanatai or Versailles or something like that. Uh, those were her favorite places. And my birthday is in August, hers is in September, so we meet in the middle. I'm like, where's Carolyn? And then I heard she had passed away. I was so sad, I mean, really, really shocked. So I chanted, and then I go in through my email, and just by mistake, I found a birthday card to me from her. It was like you know, like spam for some reason, and there it was, happy birthday, this. And um, I, I really don't know how to say anymore. So Carolyn was all about the practice, and in this practice, we help each other. Always, you know, when one is down, we bring the other up, and together we walk forward hand in hand, and I'm forever. I uh, remember my good friend, she's in my heart. Thank you very, very much.